I'm planning my first backpacking trip of this year and I thought I should share with you guys what it is that I normally take with me on an overnight backpacking trip. Now before we start, I want to mention that this list will exclude consumables such as food, water, and fuel. We're only going to be talking about the gear and the equipment that I'm taking with me on this trip. Today's list is going to have a lot of items that fall into the ultra lightweight type of backpacking and or through hiking. I also do carry heavy camera gear, so I do my best to keep the camping gear as light and as simple as possible. I will not be mentioning the weight of every single item in the video, but I will make sure to list them all down below in the description box. That way, if you're interested, you'll be able to find that information there. I have divided this video into six sections, so without wasting any time, we should start with part one. Part one is gonna include backpack and shelter. Uh, for backpack, I went with Z-Packs Arc Blast. If you're not familiar with Z-Packs, they are a company that makes backpacking gear ultra light backpacking gear with this material called cuban fiber cuban fiber is very strong and super lightweight for the amount of strength it it, it gives you so um makes great material for backpacking products i chose this backpack because of the access you can get from the front it does have a zipper in the front where you can access everything you have in the main compartment it makes life way easier it also comes with a carbon fiber frame which will help support the weight i've had it for three four years and i'm satisfied with the way it performs now moving on to shelter again i went with z packs this is the duplex tent made out of cuban fiber uh, super lightweight this tent initially when they made it it was supposed to be pitched using your trekking poles and you can still do that but they recently came out with their freestanding flex kit which literally is like poles for your tent and it helps you pitch it more easier and it makes the tent a little bigger um, i don't like carrying trekking poles because i want to have access to my camera at all times so i made the purchase and i'm really happy with it because it makes it so much quicker to set up the tent and it's roomier it is a two person tent two people can easily sleep in it and for one person it's like a mansion so uh yeah that's the tent and then i have oh there's sand in this how oh, cool i have their carbon fiber uh, tent stakes that are really lightweight and they're they last forever. As far as ground sheet goes, I use Tyvek. Tyvek, you can find it from Amazon, you can get it from your hardware store. It's super cheap, it's reusable, it's waterproof. What else do you want? It's like, I've, I've washed this so many times, it feels like it's way thinner now, but it still works, so I use it. It's, it just goes in my backpack. It literally weighs like nothing. It's awesome. That wraps up the shelter. And we're gonna move on to part two, which is sleeping gear. For sleeping bag, I went with their Z-Packs again. Um, sleeping cold, 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 cold. How do you pronounce it? Which is a 10 degree bag uh, that obviously doesn't have the top, which makes it uh, really functional for me because if it's too hot, um, I will just open it. It does have a zipper in the back, so I will just leave it open and I'll use it as a blanket. And if it's cold, I'll zip it up and I'll use my down jacket to kind of help with that extra coldness in the air. It packs down very small and yeah. That's the bag. So moving on to sleeping pad. This is a Thermarest Neo Air. Now, I don't know what specific model this is, but again, this is an older version. I think there's a new version of the same one right now that is uh, lighter and the R value is higher. For pillow, this is a luxury item for the longest time. I wasn't using one. I would go out there and say that I will just put my, all my extra clothes in a stuff sack and I'll put it under my head and that would never work. I would always be uncomfortable so I gave in and got one of these pillows. This is a cocoon air core pillow which has an interesting name. It is really comfortable. It has this material inside, this soft, mm, it's so great sleeping with this. Uh, yep, do not regret it. Another luxury item I have for my sleeping, it's this pump. <laughs> 
this just makes life easier i'm i'm not gonna say anything if you if you know you know this will this will make the whole blowing up your mattress situation way easier and way more pleasant so i'll take the extra two ounces with me it's, it weighs two ounces with the batteries so it's okay that will wrap up our sleeping system and let's move on to kitchen part three let's start with the stove i use a soto windmaster with four flex pot holder i believe they have two versions of this which is the stove is the same it just comes with two different pot holders uh, one is four one is three i went with four because just in case you wanted to put a bigger pot on it uh, it would support it yeah, i really like the stove it's it boils water quick uh, it does have this ignition thing that works still, so I'm happy with that. You don't need a lighter every time. Uh, it's lightweight. There is, I have seen one that um, MSR made, which looks exactly the same. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. So if you guys want, check that out too. And I use the smallest canister every time, um, especially if we're going with smaller groups. We usually take one stove and then depending on how many people are in the group we take fuel accordingly so it changes every time but i, I personally take the smallest ones because uh, they're small and it, they fit in this pot there's no way you're gonna go through this in one night unless you're cooking for 60 people we're not so moving on i use the msr titan kettle which was one of the first items I purchased when I was buying stuff for backpacking. It's been with me ever since. I've put it on fire, as you can see. Everything's so intact, it works perfect, uh, so I use it. I do have a Snoopy cup, which I use for coffee, tea, water, whatever. Um, this is the Snow Peak 300. I would go with the 4 450, I believe the next size is. It, yeah, this is kind of small. I would go with something slightly bigger. And if you don't have a pot like this, I would go with the 600. Your choice. But yeah, 600 is big enough for you to eat out of and drink your drinks. Uh, moving on to the last and the best item in the kitchen section. That would be my AeroPress. I love coffee and I first started drinking instant coffee on the trip. It was embarrassing for someone that likes coffee so much. So I went ahead and I got myself an AeroPress, which makes coffee taste a lot better. Uh, it is a little heavy, but I'm willing to sacrifice the weight for coffee. Coffee first, all the time. I will not leave my house without this. This usually stays in my car. Uh, now that I'm going backpacking, I'll take it with me. That wraps up our kitchen department. Let's move on to part four, which is water filter and light. Water filter, I use the Sawyer. Uh, this is the full size, the bigger size. Um, there is the mini, but the water flow is a lot slower. This one is a lot faster. It is a little bigger and heavier, obviously, but it's worth it. And I use a um, ever new water bladder. This is a two liter one for the dirty water to like scoop it out. And then we use smart water bottles for carrying our water. Simple, easy, clean. Moving on, light. I only carry one headlamp with me. It's a Nightcore NU25, which has 350 lumens. Uh, it is super lightweight, rechargeable. I would not take the charger with me on an overnight backpacking trip. But if I'm gonna be out there for a couple of days, I will take an extra external battery just in case this dies i can recharge it it does have a red light which is amazing lasts a very long time with the red light and it's good for mosquitoes and flies the flies get attracted to white light and the red one seems to be better that wraps up part four guys we're getting close let's move on to part five so in part five we're going to talk about clothing now for an overnighter i wouldn't take much with me uh, the one layer, the one insulating layer that I would want to have is my down jacket. This is the North Face um, Summit L3. I'm proud of this purchase. This was on sale for like 70%. 
I got this for like $80. It was insane. It is 800 filled down, 12, 13 ounces. I'll list it down below. Moving on, rain jacket. I do take my rain jacket. It is not going to rain. It is not going to be that cold. But just in case something happened, you're in high elevation, anything can go wrong. So I take my rain jacket, one for an extra layer, two just in case it rains. This is a mountain hardware rain jacket, got it from an outlet store and it works. The stuff that I'm gonna be wearing, I wear synthetic shirts. Um, this is a North Face, I've had it for a very long time. I use that and then I hike in running shorts normally, but since it's mosquito season, I'm also taking a pair of pants with me. These are climbing pants, uh, very lightweight, very comfortable. I take this with me just in case the, if the mosquitoes are really bad, I will wear this over or I will wear this instead of the, the shorts. And to pair that, I just got these in the mail. These are sleeves that I'm hoping, I'm hoping will protect me against mosquitoes i'm hoping that the mosquitoes can't bite through this these are just amazon generic brand i don't even know what they're called but i'll still link them below uh they feel comfortable so far we'll see how they perform i'll let you guys know uh bandana bandana is always great to clean off sweat to cover your neck to dry off your face whatever it is I always carry a bandana with me. Extra socks, I usually take one pair for an overnight, I will take one pair. Extra, uh, Smart Wool, Darn Tough, they're both great brands. And that wraps up part five. Moving on to part six, the final round. In part six, we're gonna talk about first aid kit, toiletries, and the last bag, which is miscellaneous stuff. Basically, whatever that doesn't fit in those categories goes in that bag so for first aid kit very basic uh, bandages gauze surgical tape uh, aspirin ibuprofen blister tape and that's pretty much it i don't take much with me in my first aid kit because there isn't much that you can do on the trail if if the injury is serious person needs to be airlifted or something so i take something very light but useful um, moving on toiletries toothbrush toothpaste these containers hand sanitizer bug repellent this is something i'm trying out this is the sawyer brand bug repellent which i'm hoping that it will work because i haven't had luck with any other brand so and i've heard good things about sawyer so hopefully it will work sunscreen and a small container and then the last part last bag this i like this bag it's like everything that does not belong anywhere else goes here space blanket fire starter waterproof matches a pencil for writing compass know how to use it duct tape whistle rope just in case you want to tie something down i usually try to have three ways to make fire which i have a lighter fire starter and uh, what else do I have? Waterproof matches. As far as maps go, uh, I use Gaia. If you guys are familiar with that website, you go, you type in the location, you plan your route and everything is there. It tells you how much elevation you're gaining, how far you're gonna be hiking and all that stuff. So check that out. Um, I just plan the route. I print out whatever I need so I don't carry extra ginormous maps with me. That will conclude everything that I take with me other than food, fuel, and water. Uh, that's all that there is in my backpack, other than camera gear as well. It will be three of us going and we will carry our food in a bear canister. One single one should fit all of it. It's just one night. I will let you guys know in the next video that is gonna be from the trip, uh, how much everything weighs. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, if you got something out of it, uh, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.